Hi, I'm Andrew Peterson, Director of RFID Race Timing Systems, and welcome to our 2011 product review. I'd like to introduce you to our High Density Digital System, or HDD system. This system has been our mainstay product for RFID race timing for now five years. The HDD system consists of a control box and an antenna mat. Here we have the control box and in, we have an inbuilt microcomputer which controls the readers and also stores the information, much like most of our products including the Ultra system and the dual antenna system. The HDD system is primarily designed for multi-sport use. This is where the transponder is worn on the ankle of the athlete. One of the drawbacks of any low frequency system is that you cannot read two tags at the same time when those tags are in very close proximity. This is what's called tag collision and you can read more about this on our website. The HDD system gets around this problem by using multiple readers and multiple receive loops. The size of these antenna loops are designed to pick up large density of athletes as they cross the mat. In this case, there's 16 individual receive loops within a very large four meter by two meter mat. The system is very easy to set up and tune. It's a simple process of connecting your antenna mat, a simple tuning with a tuning knob, and then away you go. The HDD system is driven by a sealed lead acid battery which sits internal inside the control box and this battery gives the HDD system up to seven hours runtime on a single charge and we have an inbuilt ethernet switch so we're able to send data in real time to our central computer and some race scoring software and like all our RFID products we house the control box in a sturdy pelican case so that this system can be deployed in the field in the most demanding of conditions. The HDD system also comes with RFID server, which is an application that allows the data from the HDD system to be recorded and sent to any third party race scoring software. The HDD system is another unit that provides live timing. So in other words, when an athlete hits the mat, that time is transmitted in real time to a race scoring software keeping an eye on what's happening out of the swim leg at the moment. And that data can be acted upon and we can see the results of that athlete immediately. For example, like a triathlon, we may have a swim, a transition out, a transition in, and a finish line, all operating at the same time. And that data would be fed in real time to a real time computer where we can see those results instantly. This type of system is really popular with our athletes, in particular our triathletes, because a lot of these athletes are finishing and want to see their results straight away. And they're able to go up to a computer terminal and plug in their name and details and see their results straight away. This is an added bonus when you have a chip timing system which is delivering real-time data to a real-time scoring software package. The HDD system has been already used in many high-profile events around the world. And some of these are even world championships like the 2009 ITU World Championships in the Gold Coast and also the 2005 World Marathon Canoe Championships. 